my name is Amanda Charles. I'm the Librarian 3 in Digitization and Special Collections. Liberator is an African-American news publication from the early 20th century Los Angeles. We were listed in WorldCat as being the only library that held any copies. When I saw it on the list, I was so intrigued and um, excited by this prospect that I immediately went to our stacks, found it, and um, I was just amazed. The Liberator was founded by Jefferson Lewis Edmonds, who was born in Mississippi, um, enslaved, and was emancipated through the Emancipation Proclamation. He was educated in Mississippi Freedmen's Bureau schools. He was a farmer and a teacher. He worked to encourage his community to exercise the vote at great peril to, uh, to his safety. African Americans were losing their rights. Jim Crow was taking hold. There were threats of violence against African Americans who voted. Um, there was a large scale campaign of, of basically terrorism aimed at depriving African Americans of their newly won rights. Threats to the safety of the Edmonds family were such that Jefferson Lewis Edmonds moved his wife and all of their nine children to Los Angeles. I'm Ariane Edmonds and I am the great great granddaughter of Jefferson Lewis Edmonds. My family has been in LA for six generations. Kind of broke tradition in many ways by leaving uh, and I lived on the East Coast for a while. Part of the reason why I came back was to um, make sure that Jefferson wasn't forgotten. Jefferson Edmonds, he did not feel that California was perfect, um, but he felt that Los Angeles was a good place for African Americans to live, to uh, build businesses, to own property, to raise families. While he was here, uh, he started a newspaper. He used it as a platform to inspire black families to move to LA. In his paper he has interviews with Booker T. Washington and W. E. Du Bois. When those luminaries would come to LA, he would take them around and show, show off what LA could be. The work that he did uh, set the foundation for black families to come to Los Angeles. That's when we had our huge boom. So Los Angeles Public Library had one volume of the Liberator. It was 1901 to 1902. I found some web pages put up by Ariane Edmonds. So I, I reached out to her, I contacted her, I said, um, Los Angeles Public Library is uh, interested in digitizing uh, what we have of the Liberator. We ultimately um, posed the idea of a partnership um, between the library and the Edmonds family to digitize uh, their copies of the Liberator. We uh, became aware of a grant which will basically uh, do high quality digitization. The Liberator will go from being available um, in person by appointment only to being available to anybody with computer access anywhere in the world. I have met very few um, people who care about this work as much as I do and care as much about telling the story of early Los Angeles and telling the story of the black influence in this city. Partnering with a library has, uh, has allowed us to do all the things that I had planned for this project. Allowing researchers and students and um, I would say just Los Angeles citizens will have access to this information um, and that's beautiful. That's all we've ever wanted.